If you're having issues with your website, feel free to reach out to me at webtrackofficial at gmail.com. Whether it's troubleshooting, optimizing, or taking your website to a next level, I am here to help you solve any website challenges. Hey, WordPress wizards. In this video, I'll show you how to generate a PDF from a submitted form for free. One copy of the PDF will be sent to the client, while another will be delivered to the admin. This was a specific requirement from one of my clients, so let's dive in. You'll need two plugins, Gravity Forms and Gravity PDF, both of which are free. I'm also activating the signature add-on since my client requires it, but it's a paid feature. Aside from that, you can achieve this functionality completely free. Now from the left sidebar, hover on Forms and again Forms. Click Add New. Let's create a blank form real quick. Name your form and click Create Blank Form. This plugin functions much like WP Forms, offering a simple drag and drop interface. To edit the label, click the widget and its settings will appear on right. Simply change the label text, scroll down and under Rules, check Required. And under Advanced, add a placeholder text. One more thing. While dragging a widget, you can either place it below at full width or position it beside another field, giving each 50% width. It's pretty amazing that Gravity Forms allows this flexibility, unlike WP Forms, where you have to predefine a layout, which can be quite limiting. Let me quickly add a few more fields. Another great feature of Gravity Forms is its number field. Unlike other form builders where you need to add a separate currency field and style it manually, here you can simply select Currency under the Number Format. When you enter an amount in USD, it automatically formats it correctly according to the relevant currency. I'll show you later. It's the little details that make a big difference. Let me quickly add a few more fields. Let me add the final field, the Signature field, where customers can digitally sign. Let's save the form. Now we got to set up the PDF formatting. From the left sidebar, go to Settings. Click PDF. This option will only appear if you have Gravity PDF plugins installed. Go to Tools tab and click Download Core Fonts. It won't take too much of your time. Now go back to your forms and located PDF under Settings. Click Add New to create a new PDF. First, add a label. Scroll down and check the admin notification. This is crucial if you want the PDF to be sent as an attachment with your form submission. It won't work unless this option is enabled. Click Add PDF. Oh, forgot to add the file name. Click Add PDF again. If you scroll down further, you can configure the PDF dimensions. Choose between portrait or landscape orientation, select color themes, and more. These are all the available options, and you can customize the styling as much as you like. Let's set up confirmations. Confirmations are the messages or actions displayed after a form is submitted, letting users know their submission was successful. Let me edit the default confirmation. You can customize these confirmations to display a message, redirect to another page, or even send a notification email. I'll go with the text confirmation. Save your changes. Final step, let's set up notifications. Notifications are used to send emails or alerts when a form is submitted. You can configure them to notify the admin, the user, or both, 
with custom messages or form data. Create a name for your PDF. Now this is a very important step. If you want your users to receive the PDF attachment along with admin notifications, you gotta add this shortcode. And along with this, add the email for admin where you want to receive the submission details. Then add from name. This should be your company's name. Here, enter your company's business email as well. And finally, enter the subject line. This is important as it helps recipients quickly identify the email and ensures it doesn't get overlooked. Just save your settings. We're all set up. Let's take a preview. Now let me fill out the form. For the full name field, I'll enter a name. In the email field, I'll input an email address. For the order ID, I'll add a random number. Moving to the total tariff, I'll enter a USD amount. And as you can see, it formats correctly. The same goes for the deposit field. After entering a USD amount, the formatting appears perfectly. I'll also add some random numbers here too. Check the agreement box and finally sign the form. Now let's submit it. As you can see, the email arrived instantly with each field's label and submitted data neatly organized and professional looking. The attached PDF also displays all the fields in a clean and structured format. Now let's check the client's side. Everything looks perfect. Here you can see, email delivered to both ends, so this is it. If this video helped you in any way, like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later, alligator! Thank you